This one's gonna be a little different due to how much this game affected my life. Dragon Ball Z Super Butoden, the legend of how I ended up in Japan. Dragon Ball Z Super Butoden is a 1993 fighting game released in Japan to a crazy great reception. After years of awful card-based battle games for the Famicom and one for the Super Famicom, it was about time that Dragon Ball leaned into its strongest asset, you know, fighting. After the huge success of Street Fighter 2, almost every company was trying to make a clone to sell. Luckily, Dragon Ball was basically the perfect style for this game. Special moves of Street Fighter were really cool, for the most part, but when Dragon Ball finally came out, it did so key blasting all over the place. The special moves were just so much more impactful to see and experience. It's obvious I love this game, but let's get into what the journal said about it. The journal reads, Today I played the best game ever made. Dragon Ball Z Super Batolden. The fighting is too cool with the ability to fly everywhere and shoot fireballs. There's no way this game will come out here though. We don't even have Dragon Ball. There's a TV show too, but it's only Japanese. I just started watching it with my friend and it's super awesome and it makes me like the game even more. I wish I could get this game, but I don't even think I could play it if I had it because I don't have a Japanese Super Nintendo. I loved this game so much when I first played it. It was massively impactful for me as well. Without this game getting me interested in Dragon Ball, I would not have later been interested in anime, which in turn got me interested in Japanese music and TV shows. All those things led me to moving to Japan 14 years ago. Playing this game changed my life. I only had access to this game due to my new neighbor moving in next door from Japan. His English was alright, but communication was not easy. We would try to gesture things and whatnot, but the one thing that we could definitely do together was video games. We both loved video games and we played a lot together, kind of bonded over that. It was a few weeks until he broke out Dragon Ball. He was surprised that I had never heard of it before. After we played the game for a while, he told me about the show. Uh, we began the journey of Dragon Ball, right around the final battle with Frieza. There was nothing like it in, in where I lived at the time. The idea of an action animated show with a connecting story was almost too much to handle. Then, the best story in the series started. Trunks arrived, and then the Cell games. It was torture to wait for the final week of each month for my friend's relatives to send him VHS tapes and recorded Japanese TV. Especially after the Cell games ended. We were convinced that Dragon Ball was over, you know, mostly due to not having access to the manga or any Japanese bookstores at the time that we knew about. I could hear him yelling for me next door when the Boo Saga started. The theme song had changed and he was dying to show it to me. From the first Kamehameha I saw, I was hooked. It spoke to me on such a base level. I was obsessed with karate in martial arts and martial arts movies since I was about four years old, so this was beyond a perfect fit. At the time, I had also just began to grow out of kids' cartoons that I used to love on TV. You know, stuff like Tiny Toons and Ren and Stimpy. I also began wondering if there were any other animes like Dragon Ball with a connecting story and whatnot. My friend's mom introduced me to Ranma and Sailor Moon. The stories were much more involved and not so easy to kind of guess what was happening, so at the time it didn't capture me as much as Dragon Ball, but I still had a, a spark of interest. That spark became a roaring fire when I found fan subs. But I'll go into that in another video. This game is really dated as of now, but it was an essential starting point to end up with the amazing games that we have now for Dragon Ball. The gameplay is really slow and the inputs are difficult to master. Honestly, I miss the difficult inputs instead of auto combos, but eh. The character list is from the Cell game era, so there are not a lot of characters that are staples for later entries. The music was really perfect for what it was. The later games have awesome music as well, but most of it's been rescored due to the composer getting in trouble for stealing some music. So whether you're a player of Xenoverse or Fighters or both like me, 
We should all respect the beginning point of Dragon Ball getting into the fighting game genre. It really only gets better and better. Would I recommend Dragon Ball Z Super Batulden today? Yes, it's slow, old, and hard to enjoy, but it's still fun if you have a lot of love for the source material.